so today I wanted to show you guys how to um, make your KDE desktop look like uh, Windows 11 or if you're you know curious about you know switching to Windows I mean switching to Linux and uh, making your your desktop look like uh, like Windows 11 this is probably gonna be an okay tutorial to follow I'm not sure though but it might be okay uh, so um, first what we need to do is uh, actually first what we need to do is um, hop over to our package manager this one uses uh, I'm on KDE Neon and I downloaded the Muon package manager from uh, the Discover uh, App Store, Software Center, whatever. Um, let's look for K Vantum. We're gonna want to download K Vantum. So the the command for this will be uh, sudo apt-get install qt5 style K Vantum if you're doing it in the terminal. But I'm already here, so I'm just gonna mark this for installation and install. Apply changes. Now we have um, K Vantum installed. What this will do is um, it's it's sort of a theming engine of sorts. <laughs> it's a widget engine, and it makes like your stuff look different than the regular uh, breeze, you know, widget style. Let me show you what that means. So here you go. This is the regular breeze one that we're using right now. It looks well the way it looks, the way you see it right now. And uh, K Vantum is going to look the way you you configured it in K Vantum. Um, to my knowledge, breeze cannot be uh, changed from it's just you know how the way it looks is going to be the way it looks, even if you change its colors to dark or whatever. Uh, K Vantum, however, can be styled however you'd want to style it. Um, so that's why we're using K Vantum. Um, although K Vantum is, I think, in my opinion, a bit janky. A lot of the themes just look weird. I'm not sure if that's a KDE problem or a K Vantum problem. But yeah, something to keep in mind. So now we're going to go to the KDE store. I don't remember the exact URL. So store.kde.org. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go to K Vantum, the K Vantum section on the on the left on the left pane, the left panel, and we're just gonna scroll down until we see uh, Windows 11, Win 11 OS. I think that's what it was called. Uh, yeah, Win 11 OS light and you can do the same thing for Win 11 OS dark we're gonna do the light theme for now um, we're gonna wanna download this this is about the only thing we're gonna wanna download then we could open it in the in its folder with dolphin and then close and we're gonna extract this just right click extract here uh, Auto detect subfolder, the third option when you on the menu when you right click and hit extract and it'll extract into its own folder. So now we have you know a K Vantum folder. Now we're gonna configure K Vantum. We'll go to the start menu or the kickoff menu, whatever KDE calls it, and we're gonna search for K Vantum, K Vantum manager. Now we're going to select that folder, which is in Downloads, Win 11 OS Lite. Click OK and install this theme. And it will install. Then change the theme to Win 11 OS Lite and use this theme. And now uh, K Vantum should be configured. I'm going to exit out of there. Now, what we're going to do. Install the install the rest of the packages that we need. 
I'm not gonna do a global uh, a global theme because it takes a long time to download. So what we're going to do instead is um, get a, the plasma style. Just uh, wait for it to initialize and load. And we're gonna search for Win 11 OS. And we're gonna get the light theme. It's gonna take a while. Okay, now we have that. We're gonna get the Win 11 OS color theme, a color color scheme. This will determine the colors of the desk of the of the windows. Uh, let's see, Win 11 OS. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. That's the nature of this uh, system settings download manager. Uh, let's see. Now we're gonna. I uh, know we do not want to apply. Uh, we're gonna get uh, new window decorations. Uh, same thing with 11 OS light, or just Win 11 OS, whatever. And yeah, cool. Uh, if you want to get the fonts, you could do it. I'm not gonna. Um, but if you want to get the fonts, uh, Microsoft uses uh, a Sego UI. That's the font that they use. So um, if you want to use that, great. I'm not sure if this is uh, if it's called Win 11 OS on. Oh, it's kind of cool. They have the Yaru uh, theme here. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember what the exact icon theme is called for the Windows 11 icon theme. I think it might be the same, but I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, it's Win 11 icon theme. Okay, um, that's fair. We're gonna download the second option. Uh, we're not gonna do uh, the the black theme because it'll give you black folders. I mean, if you want black folders, I mean that's totally up to you. That's an aesthetic choice. But we're gonna try to do as vanilla as we can, you know, to emulate vanilla Windows 11. The panel is uh, the the exact length that we want, the exact height that we want it to be. By the way, uh, I'll go into the panel later. I'm kind of getting off track. So now we have to do the cursors. Um, to to really uh, make the cursors. Uh, appear like they're not gonna appear all the way uh, you'll see what I mean they're not gonna like you're still gonna have the old cursor on some on some apps and on other apps and other you know things on the desktop you're gonna have the new cursors and to make the cursors just make your cursor the same for everything you're just gonna have to log out and log back in you'll see what I mean um, I don't remember what the uh, what the theme is called for for the cursor, uh, when no, we're not gonna do win seven builds. Okay, it's a win. No, it's not win, sir. Is it? No. Oh my god, I totally forgot. <laughs> I was gonna do win seven build, but I think it's win ten. Yeah, win ten. Oh, okay. Win ten. Oh, so there's only one. There's no. I guess this one's all the light theme as well. I'm not sure, but maybe it didn't. But oh well, let's just use it anyway. Not sure if there's a there's a light one available, but you know we'll take what we can get. So that's all we need to do now. We need to um <clears throat> now we need to um enable everything. So we're gonna go here to K Phantom, enable that. We're gonna go to plasma style, enable the Win 11 OS light plasma style. The colors, we're gonna go down to, we downloaded the color scheme already, so we're gonna go down to Win 11 OS light, enable that. The window decorations will be Win 11 OS light. And we're gonna have to like tweak these. We're gonna have to go here to title bar buttons and move this down, uh, and move this down. And hit apply. That'll get rid of you know the oversized menu buttons. Um, hmm. 
the icons are going to be Win 11. And we, have, we already dealt with the cursors. So, yeah, let's exit out of that. Now, what we want to do is go to the panel and enter edit mode. Now, the panel is a perfect height. I think the Windows 11 um, panel is 44 pixels uh, high. Uh, the one for Windows 10 and Windows 7, Windows 8 was 40 pixels uh, when you don't have display scaling on. And obviously, we do not have display scaling on. So, yeah. Uh, let's add two spacers and let's drag one of them right here and uh, yeah now we're pretty much kind of there kind of not all the way um, let's see you could if you want to you could uh, you could uh, really uh, just edit this to look more like Windows 10 and Windows 11 I mean but we're not gonna it's, it's, it's you're gonna have to kind of have a reference a reference um, image of the the Windows 11 um, file manager Windows Explorer is what it's called that's what I was trying to think of to sort of you know match the icons Oh yeah, and one thing that I did forget, um, for GTK3 apps, we're going to have to go back to Appearance and go to Application Style, configure GNOME GTK Application Styles. And if you need to uh, Linux, uh, the reason why you pronounce it GNOME, you know, it's a long story. It's probably not pronounced that way anymore. I know that it's GNOME, you know, in regular speech. But in Linux, it's it's been a lot of people have used GNOME or or GNOME to refer to the desktop because it's an acronym, and it was an acronym. I don't, I'm not sure if it's still an acronym. And it the first I think the first two words of the acronym were were for GNU. Uh, so GNOME, because you know GNU is you know the root. You know the the first you know words the first letters. Uh, whatever it's it's a long story I'm not even sure I'm not even sure I know anything about the story but uh, but yeah um, anyways I'm just gonna pronounce it gnome because it's you know <laughs> it's confusing so we're gonna go to get uh, new gnome application styles and here's what I mean about be it being really janky like the borders are weird I don't know if you could fix that maybe you can uh, but um, everything looks kind of janky. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so we, what we're going to do is search for um, fluent. I think. Yeah, fluent round GTK theme. Now we're gonna install it and install fluent round uh, light. And. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna use it. Oh, <laughs> there's no close button. And we're gonna use it. Shit. And hit apply. And now this sh our GTK apps like Firefox should look kind of at home if we're gonna. Um, If we're gonna use, you know, header uh, GTK header bars, which are these things, are you know, they're uh, they're uh, you know, window controls inside of the inside of the window itself instead of you know them being outside. So yeah, the final thing to do is to excuse me, go back to the KDE store and. Uh, Go and get the wallpaper. That we need. And then try to uh, just go back to the Win 11 OS K Bantam and scroll down and you'll see the Win 11 OS light wallpaper. Just click on that, it'll take you to the download. Click the download. Wait for the download to finish. Oh, yeah. 
and uh, uh, do the same thing. Add a text subfolder. Oh, that's weird. The heck just happened. Is it this one? Oh, wait, what? There's a JPG file in here, you said? Ooh. Hold on. <laughs> Is it just Dolphin being weird? What? Come on. Oh. It's right here. Okay. I don't know what just happened. But. Apparently it got merged with, uh. Because they're, they're, they're named as the exact same thing. So what I would advise you to do is just to rename it something else. And then extract it because they got merged and I got confused. And now it's there. And now we can uh, close out of here. Uh, right click the desktop. Configure. It's the first button. Configure. Desktop and wallpaper. Add image. That image. Generically named image after a screen resolution hit apply and now you I don't know I do not know what happened there to be honest uh, <laughs> yeah okay I just kind of like redid that thing so now we have a close eh, kind of a close uh, not really that close. <laughs> uh, semblance of a Windows 11 desktop. It uh, doesn't look exactly like it. <laughs> Obviously, it's not going to. And there's a bit of jank. You know, these the zoom button and the and the seven gigabytes free button being misaligned is kind of janky. Um, a lot of the buttons are kind of janky. Not here though. But like, not these either. Um, hmm. These are pretty not janky. Uh, what about these? No, these are good. These are these buttons are fine. But the ones in the settings menu are really janky. Like, that's well, maybe. Sometimes I make it bigger. It's they get better, but they're they're not. There's no spacing on the top. Uh, there's very minimal spacing on the top of these buttons. Uh, let's go back to where did I see in it? You, see, you know, you see these. You see the the icon here, the little gear icon. It's pretty much floating off of the button. Does not look good. Uh, so yeah, there there there's a bit of jankiness here. It's kind of a hack. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's how you get your your um, your uh, Linux desktop to look, you know, kind of sort of like like Windows 11, and it's honestly very underwhelming. <laughs> it's probably because you know theming is also kind of hacky in in, in KDE and in Linux in general. You know, especially with you know with the direction GNOME's going, GNOME is going to be almost unthemable later, probably. <laughs> we don't know. So I hope uh, you guys like this video, and um, yeah, peace out.